Hey guys, how's it going? I am Husky Skulls yet again, back for another episode of Creepy But True Gaming. Where have I been? I'm pretty sure that's what you guys are probably saying right now. Well, lately guys, I was uh, a little sick. So, uh, yeah, there's your answer. I was sick lately and I am pretty much well now. So, I figured why not get into another episode. That's what I've been wanting to do for just a little bit ago, but I just... I figured just hold on to it for the time being, and I figured, why the heck not? Why would you do it right now, though, Huskies Ghost? Well, let me tell you one thing. This game here was part of my childhood. Um, this game right here was actually, well, my Super Mario 64. And I know, guys, don't worry. I love Mario, okay? Even Mario approves of me, so... Don't worry about it, I'm just saying this was kind of my Mario 64. That's right guys. We're going to visit the old gecko friend that we all used to know and love. And when I downloaded this game on the PSN during that flash sale, I was happy to see it on there. <clears throat> to be honest, I never really <clears throat> I never really noticed it on there until that flash sale. And I was happy to get it for 99 cents. Um too bad I wasn't able to find the CD of it though. It's just, I really have a disc of a game that I always used to play. But oh well, as long as I have at least some part of it, you know, it's better than nothing. That's right, guys. We're covering Gex: Enter the Gecko, which is the sequel to Gex, and there is something unsettling about it. So let's go ahead and check it out on this episode of Creepy the True Gaming. Ah, the memories. I'm sure I can't be the only one saying that when revisiting Gex. Gex Enter the Gecko, or also known as Gex 64, or Gex 3D, is a 3D platformer where you play as a green gecko named Gex. The idea of this game is, well, going through different channels and stop your enemy. Out of of old Mr. Sunshine himself, Rez. Yes, guys, if you never played Gex, Get off that lazy seat and grab this game or download it now. Hell, even the opening menu theme is catchy. When I said channels, I do mean that. Each channel you visit in Enter the Get-Go is a parody of each famous show or movie. Such as Looney Tunes, Horror Flex, Star Wars, even the History Channel. What I also love is the comedy gold lines Gex say, even for each channel. Ah, uh, to see the world as Keith Richards does. So this is Never Never Land. You never guess it from the inside. Ah, uh, those quotes never get old. Now, I know what you are maybe thinking. This game looks cute, fun, and innocent. How can a game like this have anything creepy? Well, my friend, if you think that, you must be new here. There is a boss you meet in Gex by the name of Mushu Pork. No, not that Mushu, this Mushu. Now, at first glance, he looks like an everyday chef pig who is likely to throw ham or something at you. That was my thoughts. And boy, I wish I was right. <laughs> the 
The flying fucking pigs in the shit bucket is this? Who is this? Is that blood on the floor? This music is unsettling. Yes, everybody, this is our cover for today's episode. This boss! No, 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 I know you all guys are probably thinking, How's he's ghost? That isn't scary. You're just a pussy. Well, look. Let's just go ahead and take a step back on this, because I know some people actually have this kind of problem. When I cover creepy but true gaming stuff, I'm not admitting that everything I found that was pretty scary, or I think it's scary to the point where I wet myself, no. But you have to remember, this was a game made for families, made for people that were, could be able to age when they were a little wee person, okay? This game could be not as innocent as Animal Crossing New Leaf and uh, other games of the series, but we know that Animal Crossing did have a lot of unsettling moments. Gex, this final boss was the same thing. I mean, to just imagine of this, okay? You are an everyday child who just got home from school and finished your homework or on a weekend break or whatever. Now you go, oh, I want to play a game. So you pick up Gex and start playing that. You end up going through this boss and you start stinking up the joint. It's like one of those days where you just have a perfectly fine normal day, okay? Then you walk into your parents' bedroom and then you end up walking into the loving moment and all hell breaks loose then DAMN IT! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it just can't get any worse from an innocent game like that. Of course it won't push it too far. Unlike the creepy face that I covered in Animal Crossing. But, of course it's not the creepiest thing, but when you're a little kid, you have to admit that um, something like that is going to be pretty unsettling for you. So that's it guys, that's the cover up for this episode of Creepy But True Gaming. If you liked the episode, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more episodes of Creepy But True Gaming and Scary Theories and a bunch of other stuff. And I will go ahead and say this, I am going to abuse the living hell out of everything. With video games, horror, because you know why? October is right around the corner. And oh boy, it, yeah, if you guys know me well enough, that is my favorite month because it holds one of my favorite holidays of all time because I like scary stuff, you know? So I'm gonna have a lot of me time, but of course I'm going to try to do what I can to cover up for the month of October because that is the month to get scary things going. So look out for that, guys. Hopefully I can deliver anyways. We have to see. So again guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Whew.